What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Football Manager 2016 experiments video. Now we've recently looked at a player leaving Crystal Palace. Today we're going to look at one coming in and he's joining from Liverpool. It's Christian Benteke, the target man striker obviously. He's only recently joined Liverpool obviously last year for a fee believed to be around £32.5 million. Pounds. Liverpool looking to recoup all of that money so the fee that's going to be agreed to Crystal Palace is apparently going to be in that region around 30 to 32 and a half million pounds yet again in this series we give the player three years at their new club to see how they develop both personally and how they help crystal palace if you like this type of content be sure to drop a like on the video comment down below and subscribe to the youtube channel let's jump straight to it okay so as you can see on screen right now we do have christian menteke and his new transferred team with crystal palace he's valued at 25 million pounds at the start of this uh, new chapter in his career i suppose uh, he's earning 130,000 pound per week he does score goals give it to him you know you can't take that away from him let's just take a look at his aston villa record to be fair i believe actually it was back on this page when nope it wasn't back there it was back here right so you know he's getting 42 Premier League goals in 89 games. It's it's impressive for a big guy. You know, he's not pacey. You can't say he's pacey. He's a big guy. He's a target man. He's a typical target man. And he does score goals, to be fair. So, as you can see, as I said, £25 million. When's his contract run out? So, 2019. So, he, we're giving him three seasons. This says he's got an extra one on top of that. Let's jump one season into the future to see... How Benteke does in his first season at Crystal Palace. Okay, so we are one season into the future. And as you can see, there's a few things that I've just, you know, kind of picked up upon very quickly. Just a quick glance. He's unhappy. He wants to leave the club because the club have been relegated. So we'll take a look at that quickly in more, well, you know, in a, in a few minutes in a bit more detail. He's wanted by clubs. Who's he wanted by? He's actually wanted by Chelsea and his value. Whoa, we've gone the wrong place there. His value has come right down. He's only valued at £10 million now. Let's take a look at his stats for this season. So, he made 26 league appearances, all of which were starts. He scored 10 goals. So, you know, he's, he's keeping up that near enough average and one every two, uh, you know, record that he had in the Premier League. He got one player of the match performance and a 6.70 average match rate, which suggests to me that when he scores, he doesn't actually go on to have a very good game after that. And then the games when he's not scoring, he's just being really average. Because if you're scoring, you kind of automatically go above seven anyway. And, you know, you keep you keep performing at a consistent level. You kind of go up towards eight. But he's got a 6.70 average match rating. So Benteke is probably not performing that well. I can't make that judgment. I've not watched the games, but that's how I'd see that. As for the Cups, one appearance, one sub. Uh, one goal to be fair to him and a 6.85 average match rating so that kind of backs up my point when he scores he still doesn't really go on to have the best of games on the international front one uh, start and two appearances from the bench obviously they've got Lukaku they've got Divock Origi and so on uh, as I said one goal in that time and a 7.05 average match rating let's take a look if the big man got injured at all this season so he did he got how many injuries did he get wow Okay, he got quite a lot of injuries this season. He got four injury, uh, sorry, four weeks. He got three injuries in total. He got four weeks at the start of the season with an Achilles tendon injury, which, as I said, kept him off for four weeks. It was in training. That was literally right before the start of the Premier League, so it'll be disappointing for that. Then he got a five-week injury at the beginning of December in training, a sports hernia, so... That kept him off for the entire Christmas break, which is where there's a lot of fixture congestion. He probably could have played a, you know, a lot of games there, and he probably would have scored in quite a few teams, get tired. And marking a target man when you're tired, it's not the easiest thing to do. And then I'm trying to figure that out. He would have literally been back a few days, and then he gets shin splints in his... As I imagine, that would probably be his first match back from that five-week injury. And he's out for five weeks again. So that was in the middle of uh, January, which would have kept him out up until probably the back end of February, going into March. So he missed quite a lot of football this season. What's that, 14 weeks in an uh, eight-month-long season, something like that. So it's a long time. It's, you know, it's three and a half months. A lot of injuries for Christian Benteke this season. You know, you, can, you can't even argue with that. Let's take a look at Palace. As we know, we got they got relegated. Uh, we'll go to competitions. 
So, oh, they got relegated. They were level. Oh, my word. That's it's even worse. They were level on points with Stoke and only one goal difference. Well, Stoke were only one goal difference better off. I wonder if they got relegated on the last day of the season. That would be um, quite something, wouldn't it? Let's. Uh, no, it's not that. It's past positions. Palace. Oh, my word, they did as well. They were 16th on after match day 37, so they were 16th with one game to go. Then they lose three. Oh, my word, they lose 3 0 at home to Watford. Watford obviously being just a bit above them. So they lose 3 0 at home to Watford. <laughs> Let's just take a look at this. Oh, my word, they lose 3 0 at home to Watford and get relegated. How did Stoke do? So Stoke drew two all, to be fair to them. So not even the best result for them. Who came above the Stoke? It was no, it wasn't even Watford, was it? Who came 16th? I'm just trying to look. Swansea. They even lost themselves. So wow, Crystal Palace shot themselves in the foot, didn't they? Let's go back to Palace. It's going to be a long way back, I believe. Yeah. So FA Cup. They were knocked out. Oh my God, this is a poor season. They were knocked out in the third round of both the FA Cup and the Capital One Cup by Blackburn Rovers in the Capital One Cup. Wolves went on to win that, and Plymouth Argyle in the FA Cup. Man United went on to win. That's some really poor stuff from uh, Crystal Palace. It's actually quite laughable. Let's take a look at the transfers. So, obviously, Christian Benteke. It says free, but it's going to be around £30 million. Alan Hilanovic from Barcelona, the youngster, coming on loan. And another loanee from Newcastle. As for outgoings, Jordan Much, um, Jednak. No one to really note. Obviously, Yannick Balassi is another player transfers. Um, football manager experiments video. That's probably on the channel. It may not be up. It will be coming out very, very shortly if it's not. Uh, what else do we normally look at players? So, Benteke was the highest scorer in the club with 11 goals. But that seems to be the problem. There's what? 1, 2, 4, 6, 9, 12, 16, 20, 27... Uh, 34, 45 goals in the team. That's not enough, especially when you're looking at like teams like, I don't know, Man City. I know they're never going to be Man City, but they've got a striker who's going to score them 25 goals. That's more than half of what the whole team scored. So goals clear and clearly an issue. And only one player got over a seven. No, oh, actually, sorry, two. But he only played one game, so I'm not even counting him. One player, actually, two. Anyway, yeah, James MacArthur. Got over a seven point, uh, you know, a seven point zero zero average match rating, which is pretty poor. Uh, Christian Menteke, he's well down. I'm not even going to begin to count. I can probably select, and then it'll tell me. So he was 14th. He was 14th for his average match rating. Really not good enough, especially when you're first choice striker. Most people below him were actually substitutes. So. You know, Christian Menteke has really not had a good season. Then he comes out moaning that he wants to leave because they got relegated. Don't want to break the news to him, but it seems like he's the reason they got relegated. You need more goals from your striker, and you need more, not just Benteke, you probably need a more contribution for, across the team, but obviously it does come down to goals if you're not scoring enough. Let's jump one season into the future, see where Benteke is at, because I doubt he's going to be a palace. Okay, so we are one more season into the future, and as you can probably see, the first thing you'll notice is a bit of different colour. That's because he's joined a different team, and obviously different team means different colour scheme, and he's joined Hull. Hull are probably in the Premier League, I'll take a look at that in just a minute. I hope they would be, because he started moaning that he wouldn't be in the Premier League, so surely they've got to be. Um, so... Crystal Palace fans, according to football manager Ben Teke, will only spend one season with yourselves because you will get relegated. What fantastic news that is, boys. I doubt that's going to happen, but that's what football manager predicts anyway. Let's go to Christian Ben Teke's stats. So, yes, they are in the Premier League. Hull, uh, 36 appearances, 15 goals. So, you know, keeping up that decent, decent tally, to be fair. Four assists, one player of the match performance, and a 6.80 average match rating. So, obviously, that average match rating really isn't getting high enough. For me, anyway, I like to see strikers well above seven consistently, especially if they're the first choice striker, which clearly Benteke is. In the cup competitions, uh, three, uh, st three starts, two goals, uh, one player of the match performance, and a 6.90 average match rating. So, still not high enough for me. Uh, international appearances, five starts, Three appearances from the bench, four goals, and a 6.89 average match rating. So he's very consistent around that, uh, like, you know, little 6.8, 6.9 average match ratings. But as I said, you need to be getting much higher than that if you're a first-choice uh, Premier League striker, at least. 
we shall take a look, see how many injuries he had this season, because he had a lot, and I mean a lot of Crystal Palace. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh my word. That is absolutely crazy. How many injuries is Benteke getting now? There's nowhere near the same amount of, you know, um, longevity or seriousness with these injuries. So we had concussion, and it was at the start of this year. It was in January. That kept him out for six days. He got that in training. Then two... Wow, so he missed a lot at the end of the season. So two months later, right at the beginning of March, the first day of March, he got a stub toe in a training. These injuries are pretty stupid, to be honest. Concussion, stub toe, a cold, a bruised thigh, and a dead leg. Bloody hell, this guy is an absolute wimp. Uh, six days he was out with that. He was out with two good days for a cold. Literally, the day he comes back, because if you look at that, the first... Plus six, that's seven. The first day he comes back from his stub toe, he gets a cold, which keeps him out for two days. Then he's back for, what would that be? He'll be back for 21 days, so only three weeks before he bruises his thigh, which keeps him out for five days. And then he's back probably not even two weeks before he goes and gets a dead leg, which keeps him out for three days. That's in April, so... Benteke didn't have the best luck with injuries towards the end of the season. Let's take a look at his value. It's gone up ever so slightly, so he was valued at £10 million. I don't know how this Hull City transfer came about. Chelsea were interested in the guy. He came to Hull. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But £12.5 million, so his value has gone ever so slightly up. And he's took a fifty grand per week wage cut to move to Hull. Oh, God. Uh, so we'll go to Hull City anyway. Yeah, we'll go to competitions. Quite an alright season for them. I've just seen already. So 12th position in the Premier League. They probably won't be too disappointed with that. Uh, given that they've probably only been up, though actually they've been me media predicted 20th, so 12th, you know, they'll be sound with that to be fair. Um, 12th position, let's just take a look. They were actually 20th for, you know, probably the middle stage of the season and they just started to rise up, up and up. They just kept going up after the uh, turn of the year, as it seems. And that's when Benteke was injured. Is that any coincidence? I'm not saying the guy's a bad player. Just putting it out there. They were knocked out in the third round of the FA Cup by Norwich did want to do better than that. And Norwich even in the Premier League? No, they are not. Uh, and they were knocked out of the fourth round of the Capital One Cup by Manchester City. So obviously a very uh, tough fixture for them there. And Chelsea went on to win both uh, tournaments. We'll take a look at transfers. See how much Christian was bought for. So he was only bought for 7.5 million. Um, anyone else that can really be bothered mention mentioning? No. Uh, anyone leaving? Not really, so Hull City seems to be quite a boring club. Uh, well, I'll take that back, there's probably going to be Hull City fans crying. Benteke was the highest scorer with 17 goals, 10 clear of anyone else. Uh, average match rating-wise, again, there was only two players, obviously it was a different club last season, but there was only two players over seven in this team, which is probably quite disappointing, you know, especially if you're a fan, but uh, nine people, so nine was Christian Benteke's average match rating, positioning type thing. We'll take a look at the tactics. Was he in the first team? Yeah, so he was, he was actually partnered with Hernandez up front in a 4-4-2 by the looks of things. So, Hull City, maybe they're not getting the best out of him. I'm not too sure. They might be. For me, Christian Benteke, 15 goals this season in the Premier League. It's quite a decent tally. We're going to jump one more season into the future to see how Benteke finishes this three-year cycle. Okay, so we are one more season into the future. We've completed Benteke's final year, and it's been three seasons and three different clubs. He's now valued at 17.75 million, playing for Everton. Oh my word, this is... a. Uh... This is horrendous. So he made 27 league appearances for Everton. Every single one of them was off the bench. I would hate that. That would do my head in. He got a 6.66 average match rate and only scoring 6 goals. But, you know, 27 appearances from the bench. You can't blame the guy. One assist. As for the cup, two starts, two, league, uh, two appearances from the bench. One goal, a 6.70 average match rate. And international, seven starts, four goals, and a 7.30 average match rate. So much better there for Belgium. Let's take a look at the injuries. This is always a laugh. Okay, so... He didn't actually get that many this season, but he had quite a severe one towards the end of the campaign. He uh, got a cold. Again, he likes getting colds, doesn't he? At the beginning of January, he maybe he doesn't like the winter. He got a cold, which kept him out for three days. He got a sprained ankle right at the end of the season, with probably only two, three weeks to go, which kept him out for five weeks, so his season was over. 
Um, so not, you know, Benteke probably wouldn't be too happy with that. Contract-wise, he's on 79 grand a week. So we actually took a one grand per week wage decrease to move to Everton. His wages just keep going down and down, but the clubs he's joining are going up and up. It's a bit of a strange one. Uh, we'll take a look. I've already said how much he's worth. 17.75 million. Let's see what he actually done for Everton. Even, you know, he didn't actually start a single Premier League game. So... Everton actually finished 8th, 1 point behind Newcastle in 7th, so they just missed out on European football. They were well, you know, well behind that top 6. I've mentioned these in a previous video. I may have actually mentioned them in this video, I can't quite remember. But, you know, the top 4, as it used to be, is now the top 6, and as you can see, they're just well clear of everyone there, really. So, Everton, as I said, finishing in 8th uh, position, 13 wins, 11 draws, 14 defeats. They were just kind of mixed up and down all season. Uh, they were knocked out in the fourth round of the FA Cup by Bournemouth. Manchester United went on to win the tournament. They were knocked out in the Capital One Cup uh, fourth round by Queen's Park Rangers. QPR Liverpool went on to be successful in that tournament. We'll take a look at transfers, see how much Benteke was brought in for. So he was brought in for 14.25 million from Hull City. Now, am I right in saying he was worth around 12.5 million pounds last season? I think he was. He's now at like, what, 14? 17, same thing. He was brought in for a decent fee then, to be fair, at Everton. Everton, um, you know, with a net spend of £15 million, pounds, so not too bad. Uh, we'll take a look at players in terms of goal tallies. So, Benteke was actually joined second. Lukaku was well clear, so obviously that's why Benteke is not actually getting much football here at Everton. I would have stayed at Hull, in my opinion. Just just putting it out there, if, you, if you're not in it for the money... And you're in it to play football, I would have stayed at Hull. And to be fair, Hull finished level on points with Everton. They only finished below them because of goal difference. So, I'm just saying, maybe he's made a poor decision there joining Everton. And he's took a wage decrease, so I don't know if he's done it for money. But maybe he just wants to be at a better club. But then he's not actually played this. Well, he's not actually started a single match for them. So, it is a bit of a strange one. Right, so that is the end of Christian Benteke's three seasons three seasons three different clubs a lot of injuries and he kind of gradually got better and better clubs but then he kind of played less well kind of less games he played more of a hull but then 27 appearances from the bench at Everton not the best way to end this three-year cycle for Christian Benteke the 27 year old striker at this point if you like this content or anything like this be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe be sure to check out some of the videos down below in the description there will also be a link to the playlist in a corner. I've not been doing YouTube yet long. I don't know which corner it is. I know it's not down there. It's up here. It's either there or there. I don't know. But thank you all for watching. Drop a like on the video. Already said all this. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, goodbye.